release it as quickly as possible. How do you even know that they've churned? How many days do you recommend for trials? Oh, that's a really interesting question. I think Apple released some benchmark like globally that will be uh, more relevant by category. I think the trial duration and trial period should be set uh, for you to, after doing some research, what do you want to achieve? What do you want your users to achieve on uh, during the trial is setting the duration of the trial. If you want them to achieve a specific task that will last maybe, uh, that you see on average your users doing in 15 days, this is the duration, you know? I can take uh, maybe... Two examples, KidsLocks, for example, it's a, it's a parental gate, parental control application. In a weekend, you can test that on your kid and see if it's working or not and choose to subscribe or not. So three days duration is great, okay? We have another customer called Batchy. It's batch cooking. Batch cooking is I cook during the weekend for the whole week. If I subscribe yeah. in the middle of the week, I might be doing that next weekend, but maybe not. And I need to maybe do this twice in order to see if that works. One month is a good duration. So you need to... Ask yourself the question, how many times I need to affirm my customers so that they develop at the beginning of a habit and they can have the chance to test the product and then set the duration for that. And if the user didn't have time to test the trial, you should offer them a second trial using WinBack or subscription offers mechanism. Yeah, I want to get into that a little bit. Tell me a little bit about that. Have you guys seen the most effective channel for WinBacks and bringing them back in? Because sometimes I find, Jeff, that like people who cancel... It's just hard to bring them back. So what's been the most effective way to bring them back? First of all, you need to do that directly when it happens because mm -hmm. you have a, a small window of time in which you can get the information, send a message before they remove the app or never, never open the app again. The channels that are the most wanted channels for winbacks are both push notifications and in-app messages because you're in context and this is where you can reactivate the same subscription. Of course, the mail and the, and the web are also important, but it's really the second uh, second range uh, second range uh, needs from uh, from our customers. Well, being uh, quick and efficient is really important there because you have a, well, a small window of time in which you can do something. You can win back your customers. After that, you need, there are two or three things that you want to try to discriminate or choose the, which offer you want to offer to which customer. So may, basically, you will be uh, you will want maybe to offer a forty percent or fifty or sixty percent discount, and a few things and the recipes that you want to put and the ingredients you want to put on this recipe will be how much the user spent because uh, if it's an extension of trial, maybe they spend zero and you just want to like do three days more or one uh, one week more. The usage of the user and also uh, why do they churn? So you you can question them on why do you churn or what do you love in the product. Are also things that can help you like drive the user to the good offer that will make them stay. How do you figure out, you said as quickly as possible, how do you even know that they've churned, that they canceled yeah, the trial? That's, that, this is where the magic uh, of building and uh, connecting to the store is great. Both Apple and Google, Apple has a S2S notification. So when the user goes to the store and unsubscribe, we are connected directly with that specific API that is not mandatory, but we are connected directly with that specific API. We get the information, we send them through your CRM and in a matter of seconds, depending on the CRM, usually CRM don't wow. send right away. They have a one minute delay. If you have your, your own uh, push notification system, it can be done in, uh, in a matter of a few seconds. And it's the same with Google. They have a, what they call the pub sub and we are connected also. And what we do is that we send the same message, no matter it's Google or Apple to your CRM, you can trigger your campaign and get them uh, back in the app. The same strategy also also applies for the involuntary return uh, when your credit card is, is expired for example we have some customers who uh, every month because it's an every month problem every month are getting back uh, six or seven thousand dollars per month just with a 15 minute setup so it's kind of magic like you trigger the campaign the campaign say hey guys uh, we couldn't charge your credit card make sure you won't lose your benefits etc click here it drives to the app store easy 30 percent win back on the on the involuntary return on this customer, like uh, th this is our greatest example right now, but seven thousand dollars uh, every month. We've typically seen anywhere from like thirty to fifty percent be the yeah. people who activate a trial and then go on to pay. So mm -hmm. it's usually more than fifty percent of the people who activate a trial cancel. That's a great opportunity for winbacks. Yeah, great opportunity for winbacks and great opportunity for also before they churn. A lot of these, uh, I don't know how, how much you measured, like the, the one that canceled the subscription in the first 10 minutes of the subscription, but it's a yeah. lot. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, a lot. it's really a lot. And these guys, you need to work them out. I mean, you have you need to have a sequence of like every day say, okay, guys, it's only seven days before because 
They just don't yeah. want to be charged if they don't want to. But you need to have like this journey like every day sending push on messages like, okay, you still have that subscription benefits. Make sure you use them. You use it. And that sequence is really important, especially for this kind of users. And the yeah. CRM I mean, is that's really why, a, a cornerstone for this. That's what Blinkist learned, right? And that's why they were yeah. like, hey, we increased our trial conversions by 23, reduced our customer, customer pl- complaints, cancellations, because they learned that most people who start a trial cancel on the same day. And so by having this like little reminder, it overcomes that fear that we all have of being charged and yeah. forgetting about it. So is there anything that else more that you want to add on that? Like besides trying to increase the trial to paying customers? Yeah, we still have some customers that don't do trial and it's really le- a big, a big thing that leverages the, the conversion. It's at least, well, latest experiment on a, on one of your huge app is added a seven day trial against nothing. It's a 31% increase. So do free trials, at least test them. Well, doing that extension of free trials is also important, especially for the people who had not the chance to test your, your subscription yet. So besides that, there's it? also yeah playing on the duration, maybe playing on the first price. On Android, you have an, another mechanism. You can do like three days free trial, one year at 50%, and then a full year. And then the full price can also be a good mechanic, but it's too bad, but it only works on a, on Android for now. Yeah, on and we all see, seen this to Jeff where we did adding free trials because most people buy during the onboarding process, adding free trials because the client was like, I don't want to do free trials, increase 420% in sales, okay? Actual revenues. Was it an AI app or was it not an AI app that increased the trials and then saw the increase in conversions? Whoa, uh, what did you, uh, what did you do right now? What right now? Oh, the big difference was there was no trial here and then yep. we added a seven day trial. And then what I like to do, sometimes we've seen really good results with this, sometimes we don't. And uh, this increase we, is on the, uh, is on the LTV or sales or the, on the sales, sales? Wow, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Actual money, that's what I wanted to show. Actual yeah, I, lo- I love that. I love that. Yeah, and it's really it's really nice because depending on the size of the app, of course, when you have like huge apps with thousands, uh, hundred thousands of uh, of subscribers, you don't have like these huge numbers. But when you have like smaller apps between ten and fifty thousand, uh, you have the chance to do a lot of experiments and move big stuff and have uh, amazing results like that. I mean, that's a great experiment, great results, Steve. And of course, yeah, we see uh, these kind of uh, of results. Maybe not four hundred and twenty percent. I need to check. We have more well, than uh, like two thousand. It was going from uh, zero to right something, now. Jeff. Yeah, Sorry? it was going from zero to something. It was not a big app, oh, yeah. right? It was barely okay. making any money. And then when we added the trials, finally started to make some money because. We added the trials. It was like, yeah, I, no lo- I, lo- I love this guy. I love this somebody. kind of experiments. Uh, this, this kind of experiments for the starters is great, especially when they have mm-hmm. money to put in acquisition. Because if you want to do A-B tests, you need to have people entering the A-B test. Otherwise, it's going to last forever until you have like some relevance in your test. But this is where it's really nice when you can have some acquisition and uh, and also get people inside your app and see if your experiments are running well. And the early days of an app, of a subscription, is really where you have these big gaps in conversion and money. 